<laughs> oh yeah. I'm tuning in every week. I'm sitting on my couch, like eating my dinner, just a total fan. Lindsay, so excited to chat with you. And like I said, congratulations. I'm so excited to chat all about your pregnancy, but I know you have several big projects in the works. So before we talk pregnancy, tell me all about the movement club. <laughs> So first of all, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Um, yes, I am so excited about this incredible project that I've been working on for a while. Um, it's been a passion project of mine and something that I've been very like adamant about because I believe so much in its purpose. Um, the Movement Club is a fitness program. Um, I started this back when I was pregnant with Sage during COVID. Um, I basically was first time pregnant, not dancing anymore, not able to go to all the gyms that I used to go to. And I felt very lost. Um, I felt that there wasn't any programs out there that really were representing and giving me what I felt I needed at the time. I feel like there was some that like worked if I wasn't pregnant and then some that were too specific for pregnancy where I'm like, I still wanna feel like I can push myself and have options. And that is where I had the idea to create a program that truly can be for everyone, no matter what stage of life you're in, trying to get pregnant, pregnant, postpartum, not pregnant at all, not even thinking about it, whether you're in like tip top of your shape and your fitness level, or you're maybe just starting out, I want there to be something for you. And so that is what I have modeled this program around. I truly am so proud of the fact that I can say when someone comes to my program, no matter where they are at with their fitness level, there is something for you. Um, we have workouts that range from HIIT, Pilates, yoga. Um, we have a fun stretching class class we have stretching classes on there some dance based classes on there because you know we've gotta mm -hmm. dance is my favorite way to move my body so of course I'm going to incorporate that into the program um and what I love is that I will and what I really tried to make was flexible workouts I understand that we as women are busy like whether you're a mom you're busy a busy businesswoman we have busy lives and I wanted to create something that was easy to throw in anywhere we have workouts that are as short as five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes all the way up to 30 minutes um, so you really can tailor this program to your schedule to what works for you and just find and have something that lets you feel proud of yourself even if it's just for five minutes of the day. I love that so much. I wish I had that when I was pregnant because I, like you said, you, you know, you, there are points in your pregnancy when you really want to push yourself. Yes. The pregnancy workouts are like, all right, just move your arm like this. And you're like, no, I want to sweat a little bit. <laughs> exactly. And then what also bugs me is I'm like, I don't want to get a program just for being pregnant and then have to go a whole new route find a new trainer that I love when I anymore. And that's what's cool is literally like, I mean, I am very proud of the pregnancy element of this program, but then also I'm proud that like you don't, that's not even on your radar. The program is still for you. We have so many different playlists. We have a playlist that has those pregnancy friendly options. So if you're coming in as a pregnant mama, you know where to start, but then so many options for people who literally are not even thinking about motherhood yet. So it's cool because it's something that can really just like live with you through all your stages. I love that so much. And how are you feeling right now? What's the, what's the stage of pregnancy you're in right now? Well, I'm literally days away Away from being out of my first trimester, which is a big milestone, as you I'm sure know, first trimester is probably the toughest apart from like the last four weeks. Like I remember the first trimester and then the last four weeks for Sage were like those mental toughness had to really kick in, but I'm feeling good. I mean, I think most of the day it's just kind of like not feeling incredible, like a little bit of nausea, a little bit of exhaustion, but it's helpful that I've been through it before. And then something I'm doing different and it kind of goes along with the movement club is I'm moving a lot more i feel like my first pregnancy i was scared like i thought if i didn't feel good i should just sit and do nothing all day but i actually found that if i get up and move my body even if it's just for a little bit it helps so much with, with the nausea and it actually gives me more energy which is very weird but then it makes sense like it does make sense but i feel like that's not what our brains go to so i feel like i'm doing better at dealing with the symptoms this time around just because i know what to expect definitely and you're running after a toddler too which you can't you, you don't have the luxury of laying down anymore <laughs> hey that is literally it i'm like geez i feel like i'm so much more tired this time around and i'm like 
wait. <laughs> That's because I literally had just me to take care of when I was pregnant with Sage. Now it's like, and honestly, it's kind of crazy. I've told people, it's like, I'll run around all day with Sage and just like be taking care of her and then stop and be like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. Like, it's funny how it's like, when it's your first, literally that's all I could think about all day long. Every day I was taking mirror selfies all the time with my bump. This time around, it's like, I have those surreal moments of like, oh my gosh, like I'm mom, but I'm having another kid as well. It's just so crazy and I'm so happy. It, it takes a while to, for it to sink in. I mean, have you, like you said, have you noticed that this pregnancy, obviously the movement and things helps a, a lot, but is the nausea different? Like what's kind of different this pregnancy this time around with your symptoms? Honestly, I feel pretty much exactly the same. The only thing I would say is like, I do feel like I'm more tired at the end of the day, but I think that's just natural. I think that's just because I'm more busy. But yeah, the nausea level is pretty much exactly the same. And I'm I'm like treating it the same way, if that makes sense. Like for me with my nausea, a lot of people will be like, oh, I can't eat. I'm like, I have to eat. If I'm not snacking like every hour, it makes me more sick. So it's funny because a lot of the same things and like I'm kind of gravitating towards the same foods as I did last time. I loved like fruits, vegetables, salads. Um, I didn't really want meat, which is so weird because I'm a big meat girl. Like that is like my favorite food group. <laughs> and what I remember last pregnancy, like I wasn't really feeling it. And so it's it's funny how it's very, very similar. So are you thinking it's another girl then? That's the thing. I'm like, I have no idea. But then my mom's like that. You can't really base it off of that because she felt the same. Well, actually, my mom had all girls. I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> But I hear from people, it's like some people just have the same pregnancy no matter what they're having. And then some people have like such different symptoms. So that's like the only thing I'm like, that's the only indicator. I'm like, maybe it's a girl. But then I'm like, I have no idea. I truly yeah. don't. I was so wrong with my guesses on what Sage was. So I just feel like I can't even trust my instinct on that part. <laughs> Obviously, I know you're just hoping for a healthy baby, but are Absolutely. you like hoping to have for Sage to have a sister like you did growing up, like you have all sisters or do you just like you said, healthy baby. I mean, healthy baby, of course. I do like, I only know sisters. I didn't have any brothers growing up. So like that element is like foreign to me, but then my husband has a younger sister and they are so close. So I'm like, both ways, I think it's so fun. It's just all I know is sisters because that's all I've ever had. So I do hope that for Sage, but then also I think a brother would be really fun for her as well. Either way, I'm so glad because she's going to be so good to them. She has been the best little cousin to her, to my niece and nephew. They are just like, so she's so sweet with them. And that makes me like very happy knowing, okay, she's not, she doesn't hate babies. She enjoys babies, thinks they're cute. Understand she has to be like gentle with them. So I'm very excited. Definitely. Have you noticed your body changing um, more so this time around? I know when I got pregnant with my second, like my bump like popped real early. I'm like, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> oh. A hundred percent. I remember like with Sage thinking I had a bump, but then looking back at me like I had nothing. I didn't really have anything that people would be like, oh, until about 18 weeks. And honestly, about two weeks ago, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have a bump. Like, it's so crazy, but I kind of like it because I hated, I hated with my first pregnancy, just feeling bloated, but not really looking pregnant. I'm like, let's just get to the bump phase where it's like, it's obvious that I'm pregnant. I also think like a pregnancy bump is the most beautiful thing in the world. It was my favorite accessory when I was pregnant with Sage. So I'm excited to really like have that. But yeah, it is crazy how much quicker my body's just like, okay, we know what to do. Let's get in action here. Yeah. Is there anything about labor and delivery that scares you this time around? Um, or like you said, you know what to, to expect. So like you, you know how to mentally prepare yourself, but is there anything that you're like dreading? Well, so I actually had a C-section with Sage because she was breech. And so I actually am very unsure of how my labor and delivery is going to go this time around. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of things that could happen. So I wouldn't say I'm scared, but it's like interesting because I don't really know the plan yet. That's something we're still like kind of working on and figuring out. Am I going to have another C-section? I mean, like there's just so many options that could happen. So it doesn't make me nervous because I really like even with Sage, I was never nervous about labor and delivery. I think I was always just like I was very excited about it. Um, of course, 
first was like a little bit nervous about a C-section, but then very much came to terms with it and just had the best experience. So I'm just going to keep holding on to that. Like whatever happens, happens, but it is kind of exciting and fun that it's like, it could be a totally different experience for me this time around. Right. I love the video that you posted of, you know, when you found out that you were pregnant and, you know, with Sage telling your husband, does she have any idea that her world is about to be like totally rocked? I feel like she doesn't fully grasp what is happening. I mean, we've taught her now, like, we'll say what's in mama's belly and she'll say baby. Like, I think she like gets that she'll kiss the ultrasound picture when she sees it and said cute baby but like she really gets like oh we're gonna have a baby in our house but what's really cool is by the time our baby comes like Sage will be two years old. So it's cool. going to get smarter. She's going to understand. We'll probably be talking even more. So it's going to be so cool to see where she's at when all of that happens. Definitely. That's definitely a, a good age difference. I love that. I mean, you know, I, I think that you said you and your husband were trying for a while. So what has this road to baby kind of looked like for you? Yeah, I think going into the second one, I mean, it only took me a couple of months with Sage. So I kind of just like thought that it would be the same. I honestly, I mean, I'm not even thinking, but I thought I'm like, well, because my body has already done this before, like it's just going to know what to do. And we're just going to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Of course, that is so naive because trying to conceive can be like the most difficult, frustrating, hard thing, like consuming thing. It's just something that really just takes over your life. And anybody who's tried to conceive for a long period of time, you understand like it's it's really, really tough. And of course, when you're in it, it's hard to kind of just like trust the process. But towards the end, I really had to just kind of let go and understand, like, trust the process, trust timing, trust God's timing, trust my body that it's going to do what it's supposed to do at the right time. And that's so much easier said than done. But I feel like that, that mentality really, really helped me get through those last couple months where we were just like, oh, my goodness. But then I'm so grateful that everything worked out the way that it was supposed to. I know that like as time progresses, we're going to see that this was absolutely what was the right timing for our family. I'm a firm believer that like everything happens for a reason, but my heart goes out to everybody who is going through that. I know that my, my situation was minor compared to what so many people go through. And I just, my heart is so heavy for them because I understand like the feelings and the emotions and the trial that you go through when you're in that, that time frame of your life. Yeah, no, I mean, no matter everybody that's struggling to get pregnant it's it's it, it takes an emotional toll on you it really does absolutely yeah. yeah but we're so grateful and i'm i mean in a way it was very strengthening for us and our family and for me and kind of just like learning how to trust i think that's a really big thing that i've had to learn over the past little bit definitely was this was that maybe one of the reasons why you decided to sit out this past season of just this season of dancing with the stars so that was definitely a big factor. I mean, we were, we've been trying to actively get pregnant and that's very hard to do when you and your husband cannot live in the same state. So that was a big part of it, but also timing wise, just for our family in general, it's, it's a big sacrifice to separate our family and break up our family for that period of time. And where Sage is at in her life and her growth and like what she's learning. I just feel like she's so rapidly changing. And for us, I just believe that she needs mom and dad together. She needs that family. And that's just what felt right. But then of course the pregnancy part played into it I, a lot of people are like oh that's why you did it i actually didn't know that i was pregnant at the time when i made the decision but very grateful that it was able to happen very shortly after that was a very like reassuring moment for me that okay this was this is what we were supposed to do definitely are you going to find out if you're having a girl or a boy Yes, we are going to find out for sure. I think we'll be able to find out pretty soon here. So I'm very excited for that because I don't know how I could ever wait. Like I'm, I love the like build up of like preparing and buying the cute clothes and getting all the things. So I'm very excited to find you have, out. Do you have names and everything all picked out too? No, we have nothing. I feel like we like, we literally were like, it was so hard to pick out Sage. Like it took us so long to find it and figure it out because there were so many, so many names that we didn't agree on. So that's going to be a struggle. But I know that we like will wait until we meet our baby, you know? So it's like, I think we have a lot of, we have a lot of time. We're not going to pick a name before birth. So we have some time, but that is a stressful thing. We're like, crap, we probably should start thinking about that and getting that in our brains again. Yeah. Do you want to have like a big family or was two your magic number or do you uh, plan for more in the future? We definitely want at least one more. Um, Max will be four for me. 
-hmm. So we'll just kind of see, we'll have three and then kind of see if we're like, we need more. We feel like there's a missing part to our family or if we're like, we're good. (laughs) We're good. Yeah. I love that. Do you feel like you can be back on the dance floor next season or is that something that you're not even thinking about at the moment? You know what? Right now I'm not like making a decision either way, but that door is always open for me. Like if they'll have me, like I, there's so many ways that I want to be involved in that show. It's a part of me. Like it truly is. Like, I feel like that's like part of my identity. And I love that. I love that this has just been such a big part of my life for so long. That door will never be closed. So I think I'm just going to take it a little bit at a time, see how I feel and kind of just assess the situation, which is exactly what we did this last time. Like this decision I made had nothing to do with like a forever. It was really just right now. This is what works. And I think that's how I'm going to approach it every single time. But it's very exciting that like I can really just kind of I don't know. It's exciting to think about what could come with that because I love the show. I'd love to be a part of it again in the future. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Have you been tuning in this season? What are your thoughts? Who has surprised you? Oh yeah. I'm tuning in every week. I'm sitting on my couch, like eating my dinner, just a total fan. Mm-hmm. Um, so many good people this season like so many good people i have to say i am so extremely impressed by charlie i kind of am not gonna lie i was a little bit of like not a skeptic but i was like i'm gonna have high expectations like she's a dancer she should be really really good and every single week she is like exceeded what I thought she could do her last week's performance their foxtrot that did like literally i've i've seen like I don't know if I've seen pros do Foxtrot that good on the show. Like it was incredible. The finesse, the details, like, I just feel like I'm, I'm really proud of her because she's really going the extra mile. She's not just like, oh, I can do this. So I'm just going to do it. No, she's like becoming a ballroom dancer. She's really diving into the styles. And I know that's also because of Mark. He's such an incredible teacher, choreographer. So Mm -hmm. happy to have him back. But yeah, I just like, I'm so mind blown because I just think it's hard. It's hard to come in as a dancer because people have high expectations so you have to really work hard to exceed them and i believe she's done that every single week and then i mean there's so many great ones wayne brady is amazing um i love shangela like (laughs) shangela and gleb every single week i'm like oh what are they gonna do they are so fun to watch and i just feel like they really like capture the spirit of the show and just make you feel really, really good every time you watch them. So I'm loving it. Of course, one of my faves was Selma and Sasha. I was so sad to see that she had to leave the competition. Totally understand, like proud of her for making the best decision for herself, but they were amazing, like so inspiring. I just love that the season has had so many really special storylines that we've been able to follow. Definitely. Um, Has it been fun seeing Jenna pregnant as well? There's so many Dancing with the Stars babies. I love it. Oh my gosh, this has been the best like and we are so excited that we get to be pregnant together even if it's just for a couple months like this has been a dream of ours and i obviously hoped i had been pregnant earlier so i like was like oh please don't miss jenna's pregnancy like just let us be pregnant together for a little bit and i'm so so happy she is going to be the best mom ever Mm -hmm. um it's just so cool seeing your friends the people that you love so much entering this exciting chapter because i know how wonderful it is and i'm so excited for her to have that definitely you know what i love um because obviously you've had such great partnerships over the years but i loved you and matt and it seems like you the two of you are still really close is that right oh yes matt and rachel are like our best friends they're literally like aunt and uncle to sagey like it's the best they came to utah and visited us well they've come a couple times now but they just recently came and Sage was so excited to see them. I mean, really though, like when I was doing the season with Matt, that was like Sage's kind of like, I remember that was, she was learning so much. That's when she started walking. She started talking a little bit and I just feel like she became so much more aware. And I was spending like hours on end with Matt and Rachel every single day. They'd come over to our apartment. We would hang out with Sage. So it's like, she really like, they're like really a part of her life. And it's so, so fun to like stay in touch with them. I'm so happy for them. They are the sweetest, best couple ever. The nicest people. I love that they travel all the time i'm like i live through you guys i truly do i eat all the food that you guys post about in my mind like they are just amazing and i'm so grateful for that friendship because it really has lasted beyond the show and i know it's going to be a lifetime friendship as well definitely i'm hoping that they're going to get engaged soon because i just want to see what i know (laughs) i know i know right i know it's like that'll be telling what they pick at their wedding that would be very telling definitely Is, is sage getting into dance and things like that as well Yes. So we started her in dance class about two months ago. It's this little two-year-old dance class. It is the cutest thing you'll ever see. 
It is so funny. I mean, they don't do a lot of dancing. It's more like running around, spinning, doing like funny. It's kind of more just like a little playtime, like an organized playtime, but it is the cutest thing ever. I put her in her little dance tutu. She wears her ballet shoes. It's the most surreal thing for me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm a dance mom. Like I can say that I'm a dance mom. Like I know she's not fully in the world yet, but we're starting out and it is so fun. I love that so much. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.